you. All right, calm down. Calm down. Welcome to the annual hobby ranking competition where the guys and conditions of a winner are unbeknownst to you. In third place, without further ado, we have eating. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, I, I guess I guess we can we can definitely understand this one, right, guys? We all love to eat food. It's a necessity. We all got to do it to survive, right? Yeah, yeah, all right. In second place, we have... We have, we have eating pie. Hi. Eating pie. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe in first place, we'll have something with a little more substance. Chasing women who have repeatedly rejected you. Oh, oh boy. boy. Have you ever been so alpha that you just won't let a woman reject you? When she says no, you take that as your chance to just keep pushing the envelope. No. You haven't? Oh, that's great! That's great, I can't say the same for Alpha, Alpha Dom. Dom. No means no, buddy. Is his name Dominic or Domic? I don't know, I can't tell. This guy is such a small creator. There is nothing out there about him that I can find. That being said, you also might be thinking, why am I covering such a small creator? Oh, oh just you wait. You do not have to accept her rejection. Oh, but you do. No, I'll let him finish. Don't worry, you alpha bros. You don't have to get down there in the comment sections already and be like, why are you interrupting him? Let him finish. Ugh. Yeah, you're so alpha. You're so strong and so cool. Get out of my comment section, you little weirdos. Now that I've addressed that, I will let him finish eventually, but I just wanted to be said that if you say this with any guise of anything, you're trying to make it seem like for any reason this could be true. You've already proven that you're an idiot. You're a fool. But anyways, here you go. I'm a professional dating coach and I teach guys how to understand the female mind. Now, if you're one of the people that haven't applied anything in my course or my videos or anything like that, this video is not for you. This is an advanced technique. This is for the people that have the course, have my videos, are applying it, seeing results. And eventually I'm going to put this in the course. I just don't have the time right now, so I'm releasing it now. You don't have to accept her rejection. Oh, an advanced technique. Okay, this is why I'm covering it, okay? He, this small creator, finds himself capable of giving dating advice to such a degree that he has a course and posts about it daily. He gives you advice all the time of, hey, you want that woman? Well, don't let her tell you no, tiger. So before this crazed example from this Alpha Sigma awesome pants. Too many people think themselves capable to give dating advice. Go ahead. Now, here's an example. I was talking to a girl and she said, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. And I, instead of just going, okay, and then just turning right away, I did this. Why would you not be interested in me? I'm the best. Absolutely the best. And she's like, oh, how? I'm like, well, you'd have to come over to my house to find out. And you'd also have to be okay with kink. And you'd also have to be okay with my mastery of the ropes and the fact that I have multiple women. And actually, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe you, uh, you wouldn't be the best for me. And now I did turn it around at the end, but I could have left that part out and still got her to start bantering back and forth, and she did. She started going back and forth with me, and I started building attraction in that because now I had sidestepped her fucking rejection. Granted, keep in mind, I didn't force it and say, no, 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 you're gonna. I just played into her little game. I knew she was playing with me a little bit or just kind of disengaging, and I gave her a little bit of fun. You wanna know what I did with her later? I'm gonna need to see some proof, mister. Actually, please don't, don't show it to me if there even is any. Oh, yeah? Well, you're gonna have to be okay with kink. Love grammar, can't get enough of it. But, okay, let's indulge. <laughs> let's indulge in this man's illusions of grandeur and just, just imagine for a minute that he really does get all of it. He gets all the play, all the game, all the people that he could ever want. Because he says repeatedly, I've dated over a thousand women. He says that repeatedly. Like, okay, let's operate for the rest of this video under the guise that he does. He's got a thousand people under that belt of his. It still somehow doesn't make anything he says make any sense. <laughs> I'm not talking about women that are twos through sevens. A very specific thing. I'm talking about eights and nines. First off, I want to say, well, let's answer this. Most guys and girls are going to be thinking I'm talking about just in general. That's not the case. A lot of my content is in general, but this is a very specific thing. And I'm about to drop some uh, God tier wisdom on you. Twos through sevens don't do this as often. However, eights and nines, no such thing as tens. Tens do not exist. We all have imperfections. They don't exist. But eights and nines will do this very consistently. They will weed out men by giving them a what we call a soft rejection. Okay, okay. Gonna go on a little tangent here. Bear with me. Can we stop with the ratings? Like, overall, can we just cut it out? What even are they? Okay, I don't need an explanation. I understand what people think they are. They're so completely objective. Like, 
Attraction is completely arbitrary. It is in the eye of the attracted. Any person ever could be attractive to any person ever. You don't know. That's why some person's eight is another person's negative four, okay? There is no way to completely rate somebody in any objective way. And he says there's no such thing as a 10. Everybody is a 10 to somebody. Have you seen Johnny Depp? Ugh. And I'm straight. This guy definitely probably hangs out in the like true rate me subreddit, the place where they all go, nice face, but you're a two. Objectively, you're a completely ugly person. Meanwhile, that person looks like this. Uh, like all of these stereotypes throughout history when rating people are objectively like racist half the time too. Like you have to look like Angelina Jolie to be a 10. That's something on the true rate me subreddit that people say. They're like, the only 10 ever is, is Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Uh, what? Huh? Have you seen Johnny Depp? But this video was about a comment on the video that we just watched. Why can't she just reject you? Why do you feel entitled to her? And why would you want to date somebody who actively does not like you? A completely reasonable thing to say. Like, honestly, that's a completely correct, objectively, stance to have on the situation. And the response he gave that video of the... Well, I'm not talking about twos through sevens. I'm only talking about eights and nines because tens don't exist. What's an eight or a nine, buddy? Can you, can you quantify it for me? Can you objectively tell me what an eight is? Can you give me 3,677 women who are eights and tell me what's the similarity between all of them? And not just the fact that you think so. No, you can't do that. Ah, damn it. <laughs> and back to the tens don't exist thing. I mean, tens do exist. I'm looking at one right now, you handsome little sucker. And I don't, what is he even talking about? Like, okay, tens don't exist, but eights and nines, right? From, from his perspective, they all act the same and they all want the same thing. They will all, every last one of them, give you what is known as a soft rejection. Buddy, a soft rejection doesn't mean what you think it means. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm gonna act like I'm rejecting this guy. But actually, I want him in my room with me tonight. No! No! What a soft rejection actually means, and I'm sure you've heard the word before, and I'm sure you just thought, well, it means something completely different. Actually, what it means is, uh, they're just trying to be nice to you. They're just trying to treat you with kindness, you know? Softly reject you. Not softly not reject you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, John, but, uh, I'm just not looking for a relationship right now. Is this one of them soft rejections people have been talking about? Does this mean you actually want me? Eh? Yeah. No, that's n no Soft rejection just means I was trying to be nice, but now I'm just gonna tell you it's cause- Like, actually, you called me a five seconds ago. On an average basis, the actions of people have nothing to do with how they look. Sure, some people might have more confidence because more people find them attractive, therefore more people treat them with bias because of how they look. Yes, I will not ignore that fact. But, on a person-to-person -person basis, the way they are, the way they act, who they are, has absolutely nothing to do with how they look. You're in the room with us. With you, no. You're far too insecure. With my master, always. And the funny thing is, he went onto my Discord and called me the F-A-G word underneath my videos of my multiple girl. That's me. <laughs> We're all by. <laughs> <laughs> you can hate, you can get mad, you can say silly things, but I'm always going to prove you wrong. No! Don't call him master! At least not in front of us. I love how at the end of this video, he believes wholeheartedly that he really served us. Right on a silver platter. Roasted us on a spit. Roasted us alive. Made us feel small and weak and all beta. Like, he believes wholeheartedly that he really did something there. That he had, like, some song of a guy in the back just like, mm -hmm, Like, humming for some reason. Dude, that was the most awkward response I've ever seen. I'm not even gonna mention the woman in the room with him besides this. She's just a victim, guys. She's a victim! Come on! Like, he he, he added the background music because he needed a little hype man to make it seem like he actually did something, but really, that was the most awkward thing I've ever seen in my life. The, like, two-finger thing because he didn't know what to do with his hands, you know? He was kind of, like, doing this the whole time. Like, cringe! Like, how are you gonna be so 
unbelievably full of yourself that you can pull a thousand women in your lifetime and act like this. You can hate, you can get mad, you can say silly things, I'm always gonna prove you wrong. How do you do that, man? Okay, not to make it seem like getting girls is a status symbol or anything, but how can you act? How can you act like you get thousands of women and act like this at the same time? Starting to believe you might be lying. I mean, with nails like this, Na na his nails are like this, by the way. With nails like this, how how can you act like you've got a bunch of women with nails like this? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, keep your innocence. Keep your innocence. But with nails like that, uh, I don't I don't believe you're getting many women at all. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So I want to go over a bunch of like what he sees as real advice. Like this is this is the truth, when really it's just a bunch of vague garbage. <laughs> These are all. All of them, just from, like, a post he made trying to preview his dating advice course. The real attraction switches in women that will always beat out looks and money. What, what does, does that, that mean? mean? I mean, I know what it means. It's just really bad grammar. Like, what it means is if she's really attracted to you, that'll beat out money and looks. Like, I, personality beats... Okay, personality wins. Sure. Is that what you were trying to say? If that's what you were trying to say, you could have just said that. Unpredictable. Women are fascinated by men who they can't control. Women love men that keep them at the edge of their seat. Yeah, I'm like a movie the way I be keeping women at the edge of their seat. <laughs> like, okay, this goes back to like the, the weird line he said about soft rejections just means she really actually truly wants you. To be unpredictable means that you, they can't control you. They love when they can't control you. I mean, what a strange thing to say. Don't take this advice, people. Don't. Please don't. Challenge. In a world of simps, this is the easiest and fastest game changer. Being different in a playful way makes her go, mm, he's different. Don't take dating advice from a guy who uses the word alpha, simp, soft rejection actually means that she actually really, really actually wants to date you. Thoughtful. Give subtle clues that she's on your mind from time to time. Uh, yeah, use your brain care about somebody, think about them. I, if this is advice you have to give, if somebody thinks that you should have to tell people, hey, maybe think about her sometimes. Because <laughs> this is all straight white men giving advice to straight white men, of course. They all want just the, the women. women. Just think about her. Just think about her. That's all you have to do. Duh! Humor. But I have to tell you about why this works. Just become celibate. Wow, way to roast people. What a good one. <laughs> so funny. Dude, I haven't seen you be funny once. I haven't seen you make a joke that actually was a joke at all once. Like, I can't even pick out a line that you said in any of your videos or any of these that could possibly have come across as a joke. Maybe take some of your own advice or just become celibate, which you might already be. I don't know, I can't tell. Intelligent and creative. Awe her with the depth of your mind, with ideas and fantasies that take her to a new reality. Ew, that made me cringe so hard. What do you mean, new reality? What are you talking about? Yes, be smart, be creative. Those are, those are real things that make people interesting and cool people. If you are intelligent, aka make good decisions, is smart and creative, which has to do with being smart, if you ask me. You shouldn't want to be smart and creative just so that you can wow her with your ideas and fantasies. Ah, I'm cringing so much that I might actually form a new face wrinkle after this. Guru. If you are an expert in something interesting to women, like BDSM or body language, you will never run out of options. How can you be an expert in body language? Everybody has different body language. It's like the weird like rating system has something. I mean, body language does have more to do with a given person than you would think, but it's not a science. It'll never be a science. Sure, some people are just way more confident than others. That doesn't mean because their hands are behind their back that they're romantically interested in you. Anyway, yeah, um, don't, don't try to be a guru to your significant other. You can teach people things, but don't, don't take advice that, like, if you really like a lady, just know things that women will like, and therefore, you can get in her pants. What a crazy thing to infer, right? Confident and cocky. I'm gonna stop you right there. Don't be cocky. Don't don't be too confident in yourself. Don't don't do it. I, what it, I don't even care what this says. No, shut up. Jewel mastery. If you can't show her the stars and bliss with your skills, then she will find someone who can. <laughs> 
I'm sure you get the point, right? This is all just a bunch of idiocy. Like, this is all just a bunch of crap. Also, okay, before we finish this all up, let's look at his course. Let's look at the ad for his course, because I'm not going to pay money to go look at his course, okay? The fourth bullet point he had, because a lot of these are just the same things he just said. Effective communication strategies. Develop excellent conversation skills and understand the power of active listening to create meaningful connections with your dates. Don't take communication advice from a guy who can't do grammar. He forgot commas. He, he just said stuff wrong. Well, you're going to have to be okay with the alpha advantage. This course is specifically designed for men looking to embrace their alpha potential. You'll gain invaluable insights and tools to become a thorough alpha dater. Again, maybe don't take advice from a guy who says alpha, alpha dater. dater. Proven results. With over 100,000 Tinder matches in two years, that means nothing. As well as a little over 1,000 women in his dating lifestyle. Where's the proof in that, buddy? And multiple women currently with him. Invest in yourself. Unleash your alpha potential today. Wow, you really sold me, Alpha Dom. Overall, the best dating advice you can ever get, that is the only dating advice that you can ever get that will ever actually ever work 100% of the time, is that just being yourself and being an understanding good person is the best thing you can do for anything. If all you're doing is searching for a relationship forever, all you're gonna find is a bunch of meaningless relationships. If what you do is invest in yourself, be a good person, don't think that being an alpha is a real thing when it comes to the human mind. It's literally been disproven by the guy who came up with the idea. For the alpha beta contingency that he invented, he even said, hey, I was wrong. This isn't real. Instead of believing in that stuff, that crap, and, and rating people and all that stuff, just realize that that doesn't mean anything. Dating people is completely situational. Don't take dating courses. Just be a good person. Be a good person! But Alpha Dom will never do that, as you can tell. He's kind of too stupid for that, apparently. Anyway, you have a great attention span for watching this video. I'm really proud of you. That was really awesome. I'm glad you're still here. You're great. If you're doing your laundry, maybe maybe doing some origami. That would be sick as hell if you're doing origami right now. Drawing. A lot of people who watch my videos apparently draw while they watch. That's really sick. Keep doing that. You're doing great. This video was brought to you by this member. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You're sick as hell. Amazing. Super cool person. You're great. If you want to be there, uh, just become a member. You'll be featured in a video. All right? Yeah. Overall, the, the whole alpha mindset thing's really funny to me because a lot of the people who really believe in it never actually looked into it. And you can tell because they, they believe in it so wholeheartedly. Guys, 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 come on. If the guy who came up with the theory that you're basing your entire personality on disproved it himself, then maybe you believe in something that isn't actually real. Surprise. Humans never really existed in an alpha beta society. We invented economy, and that's, like, really early in our developmental stages of being a, um, a, a, a race, you know, like, the human race, right? So, that's kind of how our hierarchy has always been. Before that, it was just, like, who accidentally got unalived by another person, you know? So, when it comes to stuff like that, it's, a it's obviously incorrect. So, yeah, Mr. Alpha, if you want to be an alpha in the dating world, just listen to my dating advice. Shut up. Go to sleep. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Later.